you have a stone called lapis lazuli. Uh, that's very good for um, seeing things, uh, metaphysical uh, vision, seeing things as they are moving around, but also for talking. It helps you have uh, build up affirmation um, in what you're seeing and doing. I've got some really good serpentine now that is so strong. Uh, its healing properties are so strong. It doesn't mean you have a broken arm, you put it on there, it fixes it. Okay, understand that when we talk about energy from stones helping us, it's helping us towards a certain goal. Okay? Um, it's like vitamins for a physical body, help a body. Uh, stone energy helps the spirit. But the more a spirit is moved towards healing itself physically, it can actually help itself heal. Okay? Uh, I know I've heard that we've all heard about the um, cases where miracle stuff or they kill cancer and everything else. Folks, when something like that happens, uh, you're having help from the other side, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. Very good. But the more positive your attitude is with yourself to heal something is telling the other side real strong, I want this gone. I want this gone. Because that's a big statement to make to the other side. It's like when people grid stones around the place. I'm going to grid this and I'm going to receive this. When you take stones and set them a certain way around your house and you make the affirmation in your head that uh, um, I'm telling you this means I need this. If you want more money, need more money. If you have what you need, chances are you're not going to get it. There's no such thing as a stone for prosperity. No such thing. Um, one of the most uh, vicious lies there is is... Uh, and uh, it comes to an overwhelming sense of entitlement that people have, even when it's hidden in a small amount, is manifesting. Folks, you don't manifest nothing except for the desire inside you to go, you know, somewhere with your life, to do something, to try and be more this, more that. Now, by making that statement, you're encouraging the other side to help you. And if they can put that in your life, they will. But that's not you making it happen. That's you saying, I really want this, and then it has to be made to happen for you. You don't create it yourself. You're, you're saying you need it. You're creating the possibility for this event to happen, but you don't create the event. Sorry. Now that, falls, that kind of flows right into uh, the law of attraction. One of the biggest lies there is. Um, but it's also harmful. If you think you can just ask for something and, and receive it, you're not going to spend time trying to awaken your abilities to understand what's going on around you and enhance your life. You're just sitting there, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. Why not become alive? Go out there and see things, do things. Uh, the more you awaken your energy, uh, the more you're aware of what's going on, the better and easier your life events will flow. When you really know what's going on and why, it's easier to make better decisions. So in that way you can enhance your life. You don't manifest the life you want, but you help enhance the life you have through your own actions. So, people now if you want to say, I'm going to manifest prosperity, why well, you start saving money and everything? Okay, you're making something happen. But that's not manifesting. I manifest. No. You want to have more money? Don't spend as much. Uh, work harder to get more. You want to call that manifestation? That's <laughs> whatever. That's a word I can't stomach. And if you have stones in the house laying around, cool. Um, does that put energy through the house and make you have more money and stuff? Hell no. When you quote unquote grid stones, okay, if you put them near you, and you relax and meditate and flow it into them, yes, you can move stuff. Like people who want to sit inside a brass triangle or something on a nice mat with stones around, that's, that's cool. But when you do, please put a hole in the top of it. Don't make it all come to a point. Because then when the energy comes through your crown, it actually stifles it. You stifle the flow. Make a hole in it. Make a brass ring or copper ring in the top and have the triangle pieces, come, pyramid pieces come up to it, please. Okay? Do it for you. It ain't for me. Okay? A lot of people think crystals are high vibration. They're not. They're something else. 
but they let other vibrations go through them while retaining a mirror image of it that can be seen. It's not mirror backwards, but it is like a what we would consider a mirror image. Um, a reflection is what I'm trying to say. But it stays in there. It's not backwards, it's straight on. It's a way to form a whole memory. That's why even some of your ET video, I mean, uh, sci-fi things, they talk about crystals holding stuff. It's because they do. I I don't go on a ship to see that. I don't have, I can, I have. I don't need to. I see it inside the crystal. Then Dalmatian Jasper, the energy of it is strong affirmations about yourself but relaxing and comfortable. And But when you dye it blue, it just steps up that affirmation of believing yourself in what you're seeing and feeling. It actually kicks it up a notch in a different way. It actually starts leaning towards pineal, which is blue. People who are strong pineal, they usually like to wear dark blue clothes. Why? It flows, light hits it, it's still that same energy coming off. And it's part of what them, what they are, they're, it's part. It's it's part of the same frequencies that make them what they are, and that flows with them. It, it feels relaxing and natural. Okay. The more you see with your eyes, the more we can, you know, use with our physical senses. The easier it is for us to uh, develop affirmations, uh, little truths, about something being real or not. Now, the larynx is also pineal. So the pineal energy comes down here and it helps you with affirmations to speak. Lapis lazuli, um, uh, oh, for Azerite, uh, really good for uh, personal speaking and seeing, understanding. Um, so the pineal field will start up here and then branches out like that. See that big blue thing there? Whoops. That big blue thing? That's the pineal field, what it looks like in, in you. Sometimes it's a little more rounded up here. It doesn't matter. It's a pineal field. Now this on the end is azurite. Very strong with the pineal and talking. So it's the pineal field plus its strength, uh, confirmation, affirmation. Uh, some people have said they've you know learned and realized, you know, when I have some lapis lazuli on me, I can talk better. I'm more affirmative about what I say. Yes, there's lots of reasons for that. Um, it's part of the pineal. It's part of the pineal field. Okay, so lapis does enhance the energy frequencies that are in the particular stone. Lapis lazuli, lazuli, excuse me, actually do crank up the pineal gland and cranks up your ability to see multidimensionally and to talk. Now, also, the color of lapis lazuli, the dark blue, the deeper blue, I should say, deeper blue, literally. Is the, the energy is one of affirmation. It's given you a strength of understanding and knowing things. Okay, there's other stones that do that too. Azurite, sodalite, all kinds of stuff like that. That happened uh, the day um, after uh, um, our, my energy outside of the body uh, attacked a ship, and compressed a, a huge ship and compressed it like a marble. Folks, that wasn't J. Essex, that's Ara. Bodies can't do stuff like that. You can't move energy like that through your body. All you can do is make the affirmation, and then if your energy is strong enough, it'll do it outside of the body. There's that filter that goes over the top of your head that keeps all the emotions, the body emotions, in the damn body. Uh, those of you that can already see, this is going to help give you more affirmations, more strength and of understanding, of accepting what you think you're seeing. You'll be able to reprocess that and understand it better. Um, those of you that are brand new to this, um, it's even more important, but it's going to be a little harder to understand, but that's okay. It's like anything else. When you understand uh, um, basic math and then you go into trigonometry, well, you know, it's a little di difficult at first, a little different, but you just go do it, and then there it is. A lot of you, I put you in the middle of the U.S., your energy is literally in both oceans, the Atlantic and the Pacific. You think the heart energy isn't mixed up with everyone? Yeah, it is, but when you close it off to someone, boom, you close it off. It comes right back in and it stays away from them. You make that affirmation in your mind, you say, no, my heart, boom. It happens. It's automatic. It's you using you. It's you being you. Simple thing. 
but I'm aware that being outside of the body, I'm a lot stronger than when I'm in the body because the body slows us down. So as you relax and open up, flow within to flow out. Been saying that for years. That that is how you power up. You can power up your body and move energy through your body. That's powering up. But you have to relax in order to let yourself loose. So you can build up a lot of energy inside your body, folks. But, you know, the real power is flowing right outside of your body. It's building up the, inf the affirmations within your mind to move the energy through your body. Remember, everyone's got a huge filter on the top of their crown, and that's for the rest of your energy. It, it emanates through your skin and everything, comes out of your body everywhere, but the, real, the big part of you is coming out your crown. That goes through that filter, so the big part of you outside of your body does not get any of those emotions and start going nuts, otherwise it'd really be crazy. Okay, but you see the blue field's uh, closer to the brain, and then the orange field, which is a scanner field, is uh, farther away. Now that's the, the vision, uh, that's the pineal vision field, okay? But the actual uh, pineal field itself is right here. And you can see that there's two dark uh, dots in there. Those are the main hard focal points of it. The field is energy here, but it's dense right where the pineal goes into the field. And then it's uh, also dense in your thorax and larynx. It works real deep with your larynx, your voice box. And the reason why uh, lapis is good for you when you talk is because you're energizing that field. And plus, the darker a stone is, like azurite too, it gives you more depth of uh, uh, security in the words that you're saying. You're the affirmation of what you're saying, as, as long as you know it's true, uh, is it's stronger. So it's easier for you to talk about it, okay?